To get things set up, I have created a button in design mode. I just dragged it over like this and then uh, changed what it said and changed its ID to light button. And then in a previous video, I showed you how you can drag these LED on, LED off, and LED blink buttons to create an effect. I'll go ahead and do that here. So any of these blocks that say LED at the beginning of them are going to be this blinking one right here. Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is show you how to use all of these other LEDs that are spread around the board. So let's go ahead and drag this out. And uh, you'll see below those that you have all these color LED square bracket blocks, and that's what we're actually going to use here. So um, since I only have one button, I'm not going to use on and off, and instead I'm going to use toggle, which is sort of going to create a light switch effect. So let's reset this and run it. And when I click this, you're going to see that one light comes on. It's the first one to the left of the plug. And the plug is right here. It's a little bit off camera. So the only thing you really need to know here, and I can press that again and make it come off, is that all of these lights have a number associated with them, and they start with zero like you just saw there. So let me quickly go through it. This is LED zero, color LED zero. And this is LED one, color LED two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there are 10 LEDs, but they go zero around through nine. So um, let's just grab a bunch of these. Might be faster to just copy control C and paste. So there's six, eight, and we need one more. Okay, so zero, this would be zero, which you already saw. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and call this one four. Uh, let's try that. Oh, that's odd. This is toggling zero on and off. So let's do it another way. Let's just go through and turn them all on. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like I'm one short. Let's go ahead and try it. So notice I went up to eight. So this guy right here, grab my pencil. This guy right here is not on yet, so we'll go ahead and use him to do something a little bit different. Uh, so we, we'll go ahead and toggle 9, which will be that last light, but let's also change this color. So we'll make the last light color LED 9. Uh, let's just try green. And it's a little hard to see because the other ones are so bright, but that appears to have worked. So let's go after eight and let's make him red. So you can see my camera's having a little trouble focusing, but that's working. Uh, if we wanted to just change like this guy, maybe that'd be zero, one, two. So let's grab a color and put it on two. And this time as an experiment, let's try, notice with eight and nine, I did the color after the toggle. Let's see what happens if I do the color before the toggle. So let's try, um, let's see, green, red. Well, let's try a blue. But this time we're doing it before just to see how that changes. Notice that nothing comes on at all. All right, let's try dragging that down below. Let's see what happens. Okay, that time it popped up as blue. So that's the way you need to do it. Uh, notice that these white ones are super bright compared to the others. We have this intensity block. Let's just try, let's take number five, which is this guy right here, and let's lower his intensity to 25. 
He, can you tell that he's a little more dim? Let's try lowering his intensity to 10 and see what that does. Well, he doesn't have that glow around him. He kind of looks more like the red and the green. Okay, let's take a LED 7 here. And instead of a toggle, let's give him a blink. And I think I've said this before, but this number here for the blink, that's in milliseconds. So if you put 1,000 there, it would be a whole second. Okay, so he's blinking okay. And then let's take maybe number four here, and we'll give him a pulse. So let's take this toggle off. And number four, and we'll make him pulse at the same interval. So you can see that's the pulse, that's the blink, this is the lower intensity. And that's how you do color LEDs.